Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use motion tracking feature in HitFilm Express 13, a free video editor no watermark for PCs and Mac OS. Here I am at the composition shot interface where I created my example motion tracking point. Being noticed that you can only track a moving object in composite shot timeline in HitFilm Express 13. Let's delete everything on the timeline and restart what I've just done to help you follow the steps easier. Alright, here I am at the media library, you can pull out the composite shot timeline directly from here by right click on the media and select make composite shot. You can also right click on any clip when editing and select make composite shot too. Added to that, you can also change the editing workspace to compositing if you want to. In this example, I am going to track the movement of this girl. It's very basic function. After getting the tracking data, we can attach texts, images or special effect to follow the movement of her. Firstly, right click on the clip and select make composite shot at the pop-up menu. Click OK. Now we are in compositing timeline. We can switch the workspace to compositing for better view. To add motion tracking, we need to select the layer and click this drop down menu. Select this green plus icon to add tracking point. Now you have tracking option on the left side and a tracking point on the preview window. Let's zoom closer to this tracking point. Basically, you just need to put this box, including these little rectangular box and this small dot at the point you want to track. The dot in the orange box are the area on the frame that the program will track. And the green square is where the program search for the movement. Keep the size small to get closer tracking result. Now I will move this tracking point to the face of the girl to track here movement. I think this point is good to go. Now let's look at the tracking options. Here you can select single tracking point which is commonly used to track the position of the subject. And double tracking points which is necessary when you need rotating and scaling options. This is the track and stabilize options where you can select the error tolerance and tracking method. I am going to leave it by default as it works really good in my example. Down below is the track control button where you can start and stop tracking as well as choose the direction you want to track. For example, if your player head is here, you can hit this button to track forward. And vice versa, hit this button to track backward when your player head is at the last frame. Alright, let's start tracking now. Being noticed that when the tracking point is out of the search area, the tracking will be stopped. Or when the subject is blurred, you will need to reposition the point and hit start tracking again. I will fast forward this part to save you time. So the tracking is finished. Now we view the tracking data by selecting the layer and find the tracking data at this drop down menu. Here is the tracking data. What we need to do is to render this tracking data to a new layer so that we can attach to other elements to follow the movement in this motion tracking data. To do that, simple create new layer by clicking on this button. Select point. I can rename this layer. Now select tracker again. Apply our tracking data to the new layer we've just created. Select apply and we have a new layer with the tracking data inside. When click on this layer, we can see the tracking motion path on the preview window.
Now you can add new text layer, image, or video, or anything to follow the motion of this tracking layer. For example, I will create a new text layer. Click anywhere on the preview window to write text. Format it to a bigger size and change the color and so on. Then move the text above the girl. OK. Now select the text layer. Hit this drop down menu, and select the tracking data layer, which I renamed to girl moving. This button is used to add motion blur if you want. That's how you can use motion tracking in HitFilm Express 13. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye for now.